Hi, welcome at this session on Red Server deploying a package to IIS. My name is Danny Wind and in this session I'll show you how to deploy a Red Server package to IIS. We'll use the key value storage server that we created earlier in a previous session. The platforms supported are Windows IIS 32-bit and 64-bit ISAPI and Linux Apache 64-bit modules. In this session we'll only cover the ISAPI bit. And you can of course deploy to a local server but also to a virtual private cloud server which we'll do in this session. Let's start by building the previously created key value store. We'll change the target platform to Win 64 bit and the build configuration to release and then build it. Uh, this build will not run in the, uh, the dev server, but we'll still run it just to get a look at the path where the BPL file is deployed to. That's here. And then copy that into the explorer and we'll see where the file is at. So this is the red key value server BPL. BPL stands for Borland Package Library. Let's connect to our server. And that's a server in the cloud, so it's a virtual private server. And it's been pre-configured with EMS or red server. And the red server BPL, uh, you cannot copy it over by dragging it, but you can actually just copy and paste it. So copy and paste it when you're using MSTSC. Okay, so let's zoom in. The uh, package needs to be loaded from a directory that's available for IIS. In this case, I'm just going to copy it over to www.root and then EMS server and just place it there and replace the file on the destination because I previously tested this as well. Okay, the EMS server INI, copy that to download to modify it to load the package. Edit and then search for the packages. Okay, package. It's somewhere below here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we need to load this uh, new package. There's an example there where you specify the path. Uh, the path here, of course, is C, INET, pub, WW root, EMS server. That's where I installed Red Server on this machine. So you just copy and paste that and then add the Red Server key package file name. Just to make sure that I don't make any typos, I'll just copy and paste that and give it a short description like key value. Okay, save that. Now we need to restart the ESAPI um, by restarting IS. So first copy this over to the ENET pub directory. So on the restart, the EMS server will actually use this new configuration. Continue. And then head over to the IIS management console and that's under computer management. And then on the computer management, there's Internet Information Services. And in Internet Information Services, just click on the server itself. And then you'll see a recycle for the application pool. It's the default application pool and recycle that because our uh, red server is actually running on the default application pool. Now it should uh, just work. So we'll go ahead over to the uh, browser. I'm going to use the external address because it's configured with HTTPS for the external address. So HTTPS and then the external uh, library and the external URL. Um, we do have a shortcut. In this case, I'll just go to EMS server slash EMS server DLL, which is the ESAPI DLL, but you can easily configure a shortcut and key values there. And it shows you the list with this single item. So this is good. Let's take a short look at the configuration for IIS. So going back to the Internet Information Service and then the default server. Let's enlarge this a bit. In the default server there's the ESAPI and CGI restrictions where we added the EMS server DLL and allowed it to execute. And under the sites there's the directory for EMS server. And in the directory of EMS server, we configured the handler mapping for ESAPI DLLs to be able to be loaded. Under the application pool, what we did was set recycling to 12 o'clock at night. So once a day, it will be recycled. And that's useful because we're using in-memory storage. Uh, so each night, the in-memory storage is actually emptied. Okay, let's go back to the Delphi ID. 
and modify the client so it now will talk to the server. So the red key value server. Let's close that one and open the client. In the image provider is the only thing you need to reconfigure. Just copy and paste the URL and the sub URL is the, uh, the parcel path here and then the host is just your VPS server DNS name. 443 and HTTPS. We used uh, Let's Encrypt to create the certificates for our server. Uh, so if you want to do that yourself, it's quite easy. Okay, let's run this and see if this works. And yes, there's the default item zero. Let's add an item one, hello, and save that. So now the items are two, zero and one. And let's try it in the browser. Let's go there to the uh, VPS hostname. Let's register the DNS. And slash key value, slash item, slash one. Hello. Okay, that's it. And you can download the source code with the link on this slide.